I'm back with my friend Ali Lowe, a board certified health and wellness coach. Coach, and today we are working on the elimination plan. Okay. So, Ali, today I'm going to do. We're going to make three things that I've kind of three different dishes I made from the plan. One is a, a roasted cauliflower, seared cauliflower, and then uh, salmon and a chicken. Oh, that dish, sounds okay? delicious. So let me get started. So right now I got the I got the cauliflower already going. So what I did, I took a full head of cauliflower, and I broke it down into this one piece of steak. Right? Ah. Now I got one going already so we don't fall behind on this process. Right? So cast iron pan, right? Mm. You can see the nice roast on it already, right? Yeah. So put it back over, and while now this is finishing up in here, what I'm going to do is take some grapeseed oil, and when I when you chop the uh, cauliflower, right, it leaves all these little shards of cauliflower. Right. So I dice up some more. I'm going to add this in, mm -hmm. right. So I got some fresh herbs from the garden. Now look, staying healthy, you know, you want to avoid any type of chemicals and things like that. Yes. So if you have a little spot, it'd be cool to open up a little garden, right? In right. the yard. Yeah. Grow some tomatoes, grow some herbs. All right. So we'll throw those bad boys in there. Or buy them at the supermarket. Yeah, you do that too. I don't do that. <laughs> so some chopped carrots. Might get along with that. All right. Got some leeks. Oh, leeks. All right. Leek is just a big, long onion, a little milder. Okay. And chopped garlic. All right. So all those will go into this little... Concoction here. All right, I'm going to mix it around. Now, what I would do on other recipes when I do this, I would add Parmesan cheese. Ah, but, can't, but do that. can't do that. Why is that? Because it Parmesan cheese is dairy, and we're trying to eliminate that. Right. So now I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to pop it right on top of this guy. And that looks pretty. All right. That doesn't look like boring diet food at all. No, no. This is this is this is be some good stuff when we're done, right? Yeah. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pop it into the broiler. Ah. Okay. okay. And let it broil up. Broil up. Broil and this up. isn't taking a long time at all. No. This is like so, what five minutes? Right. So this this uh little steak, cauliflower steak. It's only been cooking there for about five minutes. Wow. Five minutes. So now, while, right? Now, while that's doing that thing, I have a little carrot and red beet puree wow. that I had in my garden. These are all garden stuff. Or store. Or store. So I'm going to get this going, get it, get it heated up. We're going to let add a little, what kind of salt? Himalayan pink Himalayan salt. salt. Pink salt. Why, why do you prefer that over other salts? Well, it has a lot of mineral properties. It can help you sleep. It's uh, just very good for your digestive system. Great. Better and, oh, go ahead. No. Oh, I was going to say, um, uh -huh. everybody's afraid of salt. Right. But doesn't salt bring out flavors? It does. It yeah. does. It does. And don't be afraid of salt. You're not, you're not dumping salt on stuff, but you know, you want to add it to the dish to enhance the flavors, especially when we're using so few little products. So you, you're actually making three different meals. and Three different meals. What I would tell my clients is you can just do one day of cooking and then pack these meals in the fridge. Absolutely. All for the future, right? right? Absolutely. Okay. All okay. these meals are packable and they're prepped ahead of time. It makes a lot of So you take one or two days out of the week and you prep for three days. You're coming home and you're gonna bang out dinner in like 10 minutes. I love it. Okay, so this is just about ready. Also, when you're cooking vegetables, what you don't wanna do, right, is overcook it. All right, so here's a little carrot puree. Oh, wow. Carrot Fancy. and pea puree, right? I'm just gonna put that on there. Oop, 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 oop. All right. And then we're gonna bring this guy over, right? You know, you just lay it on your plate. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Just like that. And look, this is a very simple dish. That was maybe 10 minutes. Oh my God, it is. Maybe 10 sweet. minutes. All right, we need two things here. We're gonna poach a salmon, right? And then we're gonna sear a salmon. 
of that That's thing. really good. Right? Mm -hmm. So, salmon's very funny, right? It's, a, it's made to protect a salmon. This is, very, this is Atlantic salmon, and I cut it into thick pieces. Some people like cut strips like that. I want thick pieces, like almost like a square or a rectangle instead, right? And this allows you to cook evenly. Oh, right? okay. More so than the strip where it kind of bends, it hits the end, and then you got a, you got a little burnt in at the end, right? And then nice See, and I tender. Just throw the whole thing in there. I know you're right. That's yeah. what I'm here. That's why. That's why I showed up. <laughs> that's why we're friends. <laughs> friends, all the friends do that. All right. So now I have a little lemon that I'm gonna squeeze, throw in there. A little okay. salt. And you leave the lemon rind in there. Yep. Okay. Leave it in there. Let it do its mojo. Okay. Let it do its thing. Then over here, for my herb garden, I have the garden again. Right. All this, boom, into there. Bring that to a boil. We're gonna turn this guy on. All right. Now look. We're gonna boil this up and bring it down to a simmer. This guy right here, we're gonna get hot, but we want a medium hot. So I'm gonna take this, this bag boy. And what's great about poaching, it's very forgiving too. It's very forgiving. Good, because so, I need a lot of forgiveness. Right? <laughs> so I'm going to place that in there. I'm going to do its thing, all right? And boom. Magically, oh, spend great. a little money on it. You know, you want a heavy bottom pan. All right? So I have the safflower oil. You know, there's different types of oils you can use, but safflower to me is probably one of the lightest ones that won't impart too much flavor to the food. So you keep the oh. richness of the, of, the, uh, okay. of the salmon. Plus, it still allows you to um, sear well. Not every oil will handle high heat. Okay, and right. I've heard bad things to do that with olive oil because it, it, it's not good in high. Oh, uh, yeah, right, 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 right. And here we, we're going to see this root and see this really well. Okay. Now, part of the key to a salmon, right? I don't mind the skin. You can take it off later if you like. I cook with the skin. I love skin too. Right? So, one of the tricks to salmon, right? A little salt. This is sea salt. Okay. All right? Because it's a salmon, it's from the sea. And then mm -hmm. make sure the flesh is down first. All right? See, I moved it around a little bit in the pan? Mm -hmm. When you move it around, it doesn't stick. Right? Oh, okay. All right. And then when you go skin down first, uh, flesh down first on that skin, it will allow the skin to stay firm and won't shrink when you flip it over. Okay. All right. So we'll give this. Look at that. Oh, thing, wow. Right? Almost there. So. How do you know when it's done? Well, you want a nice firm piece to it, right? Or you can use technology. Oh, okay. 145. Oh, look at that. Right? And we're just about there. So from here, then we're going to have some bok choy. And I'm going to take this bok choy. I'm going to split it in half. And I'm going to charge this right on the grill. I'll show you how on the okay. fire and the flame. Okay. So I got to do that. And here, now this tool is like, it makes little strands. Oh, okay. Right? So watch. And this is a squash. Butternut? Butternut squash. Okay. Right? Oh. Oh, wow. So it's almost right? like a little pasta thing. Right. And this is like right. a dollar number five. Where'd you get this? Can't tell you the secret. Bed, bath, and beyond. It's just like Amazon, but. Yeah. Right. So it's great. Look wow, at this that thing, right? Wow, easy. Super, super easy. And you got these strings, and now look, when you get up in the morning, you make your coffee before you go to work, knock this stuff out, when you go back home, bam, into the pan, all right? Wow. It should be hot now. So the bok choy, I'm gonna add this a little bit of oil, all right? So what, what kind of challenges do you think people have with elimination diet? Eating it. I think to... it's the variety, but from what I'm seeing here, we have variety. Yeah. You have your cauliflower, right. Right. you have your salmon, right. you have your chicken, right. you have the different veggies. Right. So, yeah. I Everything's think... here. Everything's here. Everything is here. And it looks nice too, so right. you feel like you can treat yourself. Right. 
Now keep in mind, now look, at a half flame on, I have just a little bit of oil. Is the fire alarm on, Paul? Uh, no, I took that out. <laughs> if, it, if anything burns down, you can just follow me out the door. Got it. And that's it. Well, oh wow, it's so it's directly on the flame. Directly on the flame. We are charring. What if you have an electric stove? Then you use a broiler. Ah. Good call. And that's what produce a crack in the back by making sure that I get the information <laughs> out properly. So, and now this is baby bok choy. So it doesn't take a lot of time to cook. But it tastes so good when it's charred. It sure does. It's, it's like really a delicious. barbecue, right? Yep, 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 yep. You know. Look at that. Just about there, just about there. Yeah. Right. Poached is put it in there nicely, right? We're gonna flip this guy over. See that char right there? That's exactly what you want. I love that. And now, keep in mind, I'm doing multiple things, right? You could be actually sipping on the wine. Sipping on the wine, playing a little music in the background, a little Steely Dan. You know, my preference. A little Miles Davis. There you go. All right. So look at that. A little char, right? Yep. That's it. That's it. Now look, my vegetables always come al dente because I do not, I do not want a overcooked vegetable, it's just mushy. Yeah. And they lose all the value. I'm use grapeseed oil for the for the um, these guys here. Oh, for the butter squash. The little needles. All right. I'm just gonna let that just saute. You just want to soften them. Okay. That's it. Just a little soften. You know, a little salt. A little pepper, right? That's it for these guys. Oh, it's gorgeous. Right? And it and smells then, wonderful. Right? Now, I'm going to pull the salmons out because these guys are. So this is something you could even cook for a dinner party. Absolutely. Absolutely. You get some healthy friends, people who are trying to, or don't even tell them it's healthy. Just yeah, tell them this is what I'm cooking, healthy. man. This is it. So people don't want to hear healthy. It's a little hard to get. Wow. Alright. And then we got this guy going. You just want to soften them up. No fuss, no much. You want the you want the the flavor of the vegetables to come out, all right? And mm. doesn't have to be thin, but you know, when you're using the nuts and the oil, you know, if it's a thicker, they'll take longer to cook and then burn outside. Okay. Okay. Squash, so roasted. Grapeseed oil. A little squeeze, huh? Boom. Yeah. Take that guy. Boom. Well, that's it. Right? Yum. All right. Take it, pop in here. Simple dish. So this right? is right? Again, I'm cooking three different things. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it seems like a lot of movement going on, that's but right. this is all you would do when it was three items. Three items. Three items. So the last dish is going to be a. So what would you um, say, like, for an. Edamame covered uh, chicken breast. That sounds fancy, and that sounds like it's going to take a long time. It's going to take no time at all. And that keeps leading me down the path, and then I'm stuck in the kitchen. With some wilted spinach. Very simple, very simple. You wow. don't love it. You don't love it, love it, want more of it. <laughs> all right? In the pan. Right? High Good heat? Day, High heat, get it hot. Okay. Right? Now, the chicken breast I use is thin. Yeah. I use a thin chicken breast, okay? okay. Now, I, can, I butterfly it myself, or many Latin markets, they already have a pounded out chicken breast that... Okay. that and it has to be thin. To it doesn't have to be thin, but, you know, when you're using the nuts and oil, you know, if it's a thicker, it'll take longer to cook, and then burn outside. Okay. Okay, so, we're going to take a little grapeseed oil, coat that guy. All right. All right. I'm going to take it, pop it in here. So this is kind of like your take on fried chicken? Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> right. That's right. Then when it's take the spinach, we're going to wilt it. We're not going to cook it down. We're just going to wilt it right in the same pan when this is done. All right. 
Let that go. Let that do its thing. Wow. You want that low heat because it's, it's got to cook through the nuts and not burn them and, and cook through the chicken also. Okay? Right. So how often do you cook, Paul? How often do I cook? Yep. I cook uh, probably most of the nights. You yep. know, my, my wife is a veterinarian, so she's busy, you yeah. know, taking care of people's animals, making sure everybody's pets are, are healthy and yeah. well. And, um, you know, get to cook all the time, do what I love, so I love it. And now, uh, would you be like me, just making the same things all the time, or do you kind of... No, I kind of make things up as I go along. You know, huh. I don't, I don't, um, I don't, I don't you follow don't have recipes. recipes. You just no. say it needs a little bit of this, No, like, wait, yeah, sometimes I say, hey, Dad, make meatloaf again. And I'll make it, and I go, it was good, but I wonder what you made last time. Like, I, I thought that was <laughs> what I made last time. I forgot what I did. How do you so know what flavors go... Well, you know, I always work on these few, these few pieces, four pieces. Salt, fat, sugar, and uh, acid, like a vinegar, oh, okay. right? Yeah, there's a Netflix and, exactly. TV show. TV okay. show, and that's, yeah. and, and that's the basic. So okay. when you're cooking, you kind of combine those three different things on a regular basis okay. to get those right flavors, because they taste them in different parts of your mouth, and that enhances each bite. Oh, okay. Look at that. Wow, that's right? beautiful. All right? And now look. Cooking takes a moment. It doesn't take forever, but it takes a moment. All right? So don't be afraid to cook a little bit. Plan your day. So you get taking it one day out of the week. We said earlier, take one day out of the week. You can marry some chicken breast. You can marry a piece of steak. And just get home, throw it in the pan. Boom, 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 and you're done. Uh, yeah. It's amazing. And that's really a good point because a lot of times we look at cooking as drudgery. Right. But it's actually kind of even time spent with your wife. Sharing a glass of wine. Right. I'm right. sure you dream of flavors. Right. I mean, it, it can be fun. And as we eat, exactly. we actually know what's behind it. Yeah, right. Hopefully at the same can... time, don't turn the TV on. Yeah. Keep it off. Come in the kitchen, sit down, and spend a half hour with each other. Yeah. And have a, have a nice, easy dinner. Absolutely. A lot of my clients used to just empty eat because they were trying to fulfill a void. Right. And I think when you take the time to cook, to prepare, to think about what you're eating, right. you kind of fill that void. You do. So you don't have to eat as much. Right. You don't right, have right, to right, eat right. the bad foods. Right, right. To no, make it no, no guilt to eat. Exactly. Well, right. the plans that you gave me are perfect plans. Good. Really good. The, the, items, the, perfect. <laughs> the items that are on the plan really work. It just takes a moment to process them. So yeah. at the end of this video, you'll see uh, information from me and for Allie. And if you want to reach out to us via email or by phone, just reach out and let's talk about what your plans for the week. All right, so we got a little kitchen, kitchen stock in here, a little chicken stock. Wow. Yeah. Right. So do you ever um, cook with bone broth? I have. Yeah. I have, I have, I have. Okay. You know, there's a great richness to the bone broth. Mm hmm Right, absolutely. And it's so good for you, too. It is good for you. It's great for inflammation. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. Right. All right. So, this guy's done. We'll lay it right there, let it rest. Yeah. All right. And then I'm going to take some of these burnt pieces out, but I don't want to use them. And spinach, we're going to go right in. And you say wilt. So what wilt. is wilt, besides me in this right. heat, what <laughs> right. is wilting? Wilting is just that. So we're not really going to cook it. We just want to give it a little toss, right? And with the heat, kind of working on it. Ah, okay. All right. So it still has that substance. It's not right, just, right. Not just, not right just cooked out. Right, 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 right. Because so, every time you cook it longer and longer, you tend to lose the flavor of, of the vegetable. I remember growing up as a kid, my mom just cooked the heck out of vegetables. Right. I never liked vegetables. Right. So here you're, this you're, is you're, good. It is good because here you get the taste of vegetable, and not so much you know, the product you put in it, like a, like a stock or or a uh, uh, ham hock, whatever you put in there, right? All right. Ooh, this looks like a sauce. So this is this little sauce. <laughs> now. But it's a healthy sauce. It is a healthy sauce. So it's, just, it's just a low sodium chicken stock or everything else. And now we'll just cook down and place it right wow. on top. Right? Beautiful. Now I would use uh, a thickening agent, but we're not because we don't want to put any flour in this, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it still looks beautiful. Yep. All right. And that's it. Another picture. Boom. One picture. Instagram. So, 
This is edamame coated chicken breast with wilted spinach. That's a little shallots in there, a little garlic. And that's it, young lady. Have a bite. See what you think. Ooh, he calls me young. I love it. Mmm. Yeah? Oh, that's good. All right, that's good. All right, everybody. So it's me and Allie. We're going to sign off right now. Cooking Six Ways a Sunday. We'll see you back for our next episode. Mm. Take care. That's good. All right. All right.